This is not a debate on the left and right about how to end abortion. As you see in the reactions to the to the news that Roe v. Wade might be overturned, which just means it'll go back to the states. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to access abortion, unfortunately. You'll see that this is not a debate about whether or not abortion is evil. The debate, or it's not a debate about whether or not um, Republican or Democrat policies end abortion. It is a debate about whether or not abortion is good or whether or not abortion is evil. The left, by and large, thinks abortion is good that it's morally right, not just that it's a necessary evil, but the platform, the main agenda, the sacrament of the left and of the current Democratic Party is that abortion must be accessible, available through nine months without apology and free and totally subsidized by the taxpayer. That is the current Democratic position. If you want to debate which policy, whether it's restricting abortion or making abortion totally free and accessible, is going to end or decrease abortion, I think the answer is obvious. But that's not really the question on the table. The question on the table is whether or not you think slaughtering and dismembering and sucking the brains out of babies is right. Do you think the Constitution speaks to that? Do you think the Constitution speaks to that being okay? And if you as a Christian thinks that maybe we should just have a slow crawl for the next 50 years to try to make that unthinkable, that the law shouldn't speak at all to the dignity and the right of an unborn child not to be brutally murdered, then you're on the wrong side. You know nothing of justice. You know nothing of the God who created justice, might I add. As R.C. Sproul said when he was alive, if he knows anything about God, the God that he studied for his many years in ministry, if he knows anything about the God of scripture, the God who created the heavens and the earth, the God who established justice, who alone is the arbiter of right and wrong and the creator of truth, if he knows anything about that God, he knows that he hates abortion. Now, that does not mean that he hates women who have had abortions. There is abundant grace for women who have had abortions. There is abundant compassion. We, the church, should be the first ones to show up both for women who are struggling with shame and guilt and the after effects of abortion and women who have an unplanned pregnancy. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.